then we can finish above Dagenham, you know, with results going the right way. Um, but I, I know Yeovil can get relegated today um, if results yep. go. And then they're, I think they're at Wrexham as well, so you, you don't really fancy the chances there. And then come weekend, Torquay have got a um, decent cross in. It's a different ball, and it was uh, round about the penalty spot there. And they're still coming, a dagger, and might yet get something here. It is cleared eventually off the toe end of Ling, who was in there. Lucky with Lundstrom, who's had a really good season. Weaves his way through, looks for a return. He's not going to get it from Hume, who goes elsewhere. This is good. Uh, Oh, lovely oh. cut across, well, it just needed the slightest of touches, it's still and in. it had to be a goal. <coughs> lovely play, though, and Regan Lid is causing a few problems, you mentioned him earlier, and he's causing a lot of problems to that Dagenham defence. He's just switched, to, he's come in from the other wing, he's come on to the right over them um, with Jordan. Good solid tackle, Oyadeli, Lundstrom. Needs somebody in the centre though here. In fact, he goes for goal. It's the best moment of the game so far. Drifts just wide of the far upright. Lunch him as close as can be. It looked as he was um, approaching the the box there. He, if he was going to play Miles Weston in, uh, not Miles Weston, Wells Hayes. But, uh, the game needs a goal, as we often say. Oh, pace here. Oh, is he taken down? It's a penalty kick to get Dagenham and Redbridge. And I don't think there are going to be too many complaints either. That, that seems a very soft penalty, that. Yeah, but he's walking away, uh, having conceded that penalty, and uh, the referee didn't appear to have uh, much hesitation, did he? Seven for Dagenham, 14 before that for Aldershot. Here he is, Effie Young smacks it in hard, low, straight into the net, and it's Dagenham and Redbridge who take the lead here at Altrincham. Yeah, it was a good penalty by him. He's uh, mattered no chance, really. But he's, I think, 1 0 flatters, well, if it had been either way, really, because uh, no team deserves to be um, winning. But it's, it's them small differences, isn't it? You give a penalty away like that. Marriott's on the ball, and they just seem to have gone off the boil. Whether that FA Trophy semi final I think it took a lot out of them, you know, they were so said, disappointed. As we said before with the uh, Halifax, what they've gone on to do after that and just before it for. See what happens here. Oh, well, that's what happens when you're not when the ball's not going in. Yeah. Drilled low there by Hume. Well, there's a bit of space out on that right side. If he can deliver here, and it's a deep ball in, and it is into the net. Equaliser, Altingham in the first minute of the second half, and they have managed to square things up. It's Jordan Hume who's on the end of things there. The move is down the right, and Jordan Hume in the right place at the right time. His fourth goal in the last six games. I was just about to say, what's the centre half doing on the right wing, putting the cross in? But it, it, was, it was a great ball. Uh, we were talking earlier on, not, not many um, good balls have been put into the box. That was a great ball. Hugel did well to hold his man off so he could let it go through to Jordan. And Jordan executed the, um, the volley superb. Well, for a long while, so a winner from him tonight would be good. Anyway, on to your level. That's the most important aspect. Oh, well, they lost possession then, and Long King stopped playing for a moment. It's a head injury, I think he needs to stop it. He's, yeah. Is it Marriott? I think he stood on his head. It was an accident. Well, but the refs allowing play to go on, and uh, Altier in position to get another one here. And that one scoops right through the penalty area. There's an appeal for a corner. Sometimes I'm tempted to say Altier punching ab above their weight bearing in mind the fact they've been a part-time side but they are full-time now and it shows oh it's brilliant oh save made it was a, a decent effort from uh, Linney that was and a, the keeper had to be very quick it was a very good save it was a, it was a good strike as well uh, but then we're getting lots of joy down the right hand side it's uh, squared it up again so soon after the Effie Young penalty just before half time here's a real opportunity to in there that's yeah, all going in well I'm not sure if that's an own goal in the end but it was uh, Regan Linney who caused the problems he snuck in there 
And I wasn't sure whether he got the last touch or whether a defender <laughs> coming in to I try and nick it, it off him. I think it was a number 16, it looked like, as he was coming across. I think Linny yeah. just had a, a touch too much. And I think it was a 16, just got a touch to it just before him. Yeah, it looked Which, that way. Yeah, it would be Thick's own goal if that is good. Linny will probably take it. I oh, mean. yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> well, I, that, that come again from Jordan, playing a lovely ball around the corner. He'll it, probably go somewhere near the back post. It's going to be a left-footed delivery. Way first time. Oh, and an awful shot. It's uh, way cleared. <laughs> Was it a good a save a by poke, was it? it Goldie? Did he get down to save that, or did someone clear it off the line? No, I think he was turned off the line. Was it? In Twenty seconds of the second half, and scored two more in the next ten minutes. Yeah, that man Warnock did it. <laughs> well, he says he did. Neil Warnock. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad ball, and here is Hume. He could settle it once and for all here. Here oh. is Hume, and he screws it off the outside of the right boot. Should have been three-one. He should that have been. sealed the points. It was a great first touch ahead of him. He's got away from the defender. And you're just thinking, try and connect it with the top of your foot, Jordan. But as he's hit it, he's hit it with the outside of his right foot and took it away from him. Holtier, I won't say in control here, but they are, in terms of the scoreline, 2-1 up. But this is a tricky moment. Well, it was, until the ball slewed away off the outside of the left. He's given a corner. The def yeah, I thought Bird had shot that one wide, but yeah. uh, referee's seen a deflection yeah. off somebody in a red shirt, so it's a corner kick. Chance for Dagenham to draw level, having been in front, right across the area. The ball is still in play. There should be another cross coming in. It is to the back post again. Well, a goal is left sprawling on the floor. The ball's gone into the net somehow or other, and I'm not quite sure what happened there, but Dagenham and Redbrick. Saunders is credited with the goal. That was a very strange one. It left the goalkeeper goal spread eagles all over the shot. Or might not as well. Big boot away. Perrits played it forward. It's into the danger area. Shooting opportunity. Oh. Bounce down into the ground. Straight into the midriff of the keeper from Hume. I was as I was, that was coming. The ball was coming. In, I thought it was going to be easy for Linney to try and head it, but he's he's gone for the. The spectacular bicycle kick, and then Jordan just not connected properly with it. But we've had the chances this second half to uh, put the game to bed, really. Yeah, we've had three goals in the uh, in the half. It's been much more entertaining, we'll be frank, than the first half was.